Hi, this is Yael with Pixel Happy Studio. And today I'm going to do a screencast uh, demonstrating our Paid Membership Pro sponsored seat plugin. I wrote a blog post recently that, that talked about some of the features of the plugin, but uh, I thought a visual would be helpful. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to uh, check out our plugin and also uh, compare it with how you would do sponsored seats uh, without our plugin. So I'm going to turn myself off so that you only see my screen and then we're going to get started. So yeah, our plugin does some pretty cool things and uh, makes managing uh, sponsored memberships a lot easier. So by sponsored memberships, in case uh, you're not quite sure what I mean by that, uh, it means that a person like a manager could buy memberships uh, for his employees and upon uh, successful payment, uh, a discount code is generated, which he then distributes to his employees. They return to the site and they are able to register on the site without paying because their manager has already paid for them. Uh, that's why it's called a sponsored membership. So uh, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quick peek at how you add sponsored memberships with uh, Paid Membership Pro. And um, the default way that you do it uh, without our plugin, and then we'll look at how you do it with our plugin. So, Paid Membership Pro um, offers what they call a sponsored group members extension, and uh, it's essentially what that is is a code snippet, uh, and you can see an example right here. So, it's a code snippet that you add to your site either via a customization plugin or via your site's functions PHP uh, file. And so you take this code snippet and then you edit it uh, to, config to configure your sponsored membership levels. So I am going to pull up a real live example. Let me just move that over a bit. So this is a real live example of a site that I set up that had a number of uh, sponsored membership levels. And um, the main thing that I want you to see here is that everything is configured via, via code. Uh, you do not have um, a way to manage any of these sponsored membership levels in the WordPress dashboard. So essentially, you would either need to know how to to uh, play with this uh, code uh, snippet that Paid Membership Pro provides you, and then you know how to configure all of this, um, and then you know in the future when you needed to change, if you wanted to change something on some of your sponsored membership levels, you would need to come back into this customizations plugin or your functions PHP file and change uh, the settings. You know, you can you know see here. This is the seat cost, the minimum number of seats, maximum number of seats. Bottom line is everything is configured in this uh, file, so it's all via code, and that's the only way that you can do that. So most of my clients would prefer not ever to have to look at this, and which is why really that we, which is why we built this uh, the the plugin. So let me close this, and then we will look how. At how you do this with our plugin. So here we are in a, the dashboard, the WordPress dashboard, and we have one simple membership level set up here. So let's open that. And we're going to scroll down, you know, most of this at the top is default paid membership pro uh, settings when you set up a membership level. But with our plugin, once it is, is installed and activated, uh, you will see a new uh, settings uh, area in the dashboard, and it is called seat settings. So the first question that you will see is whether or not you want to offer additional seats for this level. If you do not, then you won't see any of the settings. But if you check this, then all of the settings uh, appear below. So everything that you need to configure a sponsored membership level uh, to allow someone to purchase memberships for others, uh, all of the settings are right here. Uh, I'm not going to 
go through all of the settings and explain them. The, the takeaway on this is that you do everything right here and you never have to look at code. So, you know, you set the minimum number of seats, maximum number of seats. You have two options. You can do range based pricing, which is what we see here. So depending on the number of seats uh, being purchased, uh, the price can change. Or if, you know, if it's just whether someone buys five seats or 2,000, it's the same price, you can do fixed price. So um, it's really easy. And like I said, you set everything up for the sponsored membership levels in the WordPress dashboard and you never have to look at code. So that is the main benefit uh, of using our plugin. And then um, we also added some enhancements to the checkout process. So again, a visual is the most helpful, I think, here. So I'm going to show you. This is a website that is using the Paid Membership Pro um, extension, which is essentially the code snippet that I showed you. And this is a checkout. So uh, when you add their code snippet extension and you configure your sponsored seats, when you go to the checkout page, you would see an option to buy uh, additional seats. And they will ask you how many. And then, you know, this text obviously will change depending on how you've configured things in the, the code snippet. But um, so here I can I can buy from five to nine seats, and it's going to be seventy-five dollars per extra seat. So I'm going to add five seats in here, and then, you know, I'm going to click out of that box so that I can con continue to make a payment. And what I want you to notice is that nothing happens. You're not told how much you're going to be charged. Uh, Obviously, you can calculate five seats times 75. You know, you can figure it out yourself, but you are going to make your payment without having um, a final amount. It's not going to show you uh, what you're actually going to be billed uh, today. And then if it's a monthly recurring payment every month. So we didn't think that was the best situation. So we enhanced the checkout process. Let me get there and I will show you. So I'm going to. So here we have, uh, you know, the price for membership is $25 per month. Uh, and then this person can buy additional seats between one and 36. So let's say I put 10 seats in here. Now, when I click out of the, the uh, additional seats box to continue with my checkout process, see what happens here. All of the details for the seats that you're pur purchasing show up on the checkout page so that you know you're paying uh, the price for each additional seat is five dollars. So the price for 10 additional seats now is fifty dollars. And then it tells you you'll be charged for your membership which for this specific membership is twenty five dollars a month and for the 10 additional seats. So you know that you're going to be billed when you complete the checkout process here, uh, $75. So uh, we think that is much more user friendly and, and most people would like to know what is actually going on their credit card before they hit that submit uh, payment button. So um, enhanced checkout process and all sponsored membership levels configured in the WordPress dashboard. Uh, that's what you can do with our sponsored Paid Membership Pro sponsored members uh, plugin. And uh, so I will include a link uh, below this video on the blog post uh, to our GitHub account where you can download the plugin. It's completely free. And um, you can download it, install it, and, and use it. And we, we, we believe it makes uh, life a lot easier when you are, you know, wanting to have sponsored memberships on a Paid Membership Pro site. So I hope this uh, video is helpful for you. And uh, if you use the plugin, you know, please let us know how it goes for you. If you have any questions, um, you know, praise or whatever, we would love to hear from you. So um, da again, down below is the link to our GitHub account where you can download the plugin. So that's it for now. Have a great day. Bye.